Okay, what we'd like to do is put the FPS controller into this project. To do this, what we need to do is click on the assets, um, and then we're gonna click on search online. This will then open up the Unity store for us. Now, it's really important that A, you're logged into a Unity hub. So make sure that you're logged into here. And if you're at school, make sure you're on the school network of the, in our case, the MFAC. If that doesn't work, then go up to Unity window and then go to Asset Store. If the Asset Store is not opening for you, you can always go in and go to Unity Asset Store. And once again, make sure that you've logged into the Unity Asset Store. It's really important that these things line up, that you're logged into this and you're logged into your Unity Hub. Otherwise, it can't associate the, the new assets with your account information. Once you've done that, you can then search for standard assets. You can search for standard asset 2018, but I find that if you just search for standard assets, you'll find the results as well. Head down till you see this one here. At the moment, it's grayed out, and then you can click on that and then you can um, open in Unity or it may ask you to download it. If it asks you to download it, import it and then open it and then once again it says sign in to access your account, so sign in. Head down to Standard Assets for Unity. You can see the little icon there and click on Import. This will start the process of importing the, all the asset files into your project. We can go through and select which ones to have, but just import the whole lot. Now once that's imported, you'll see down the bottom here we've got standard assets, and that means we can close that other floating window. Now what we need to do is head back to the website. You can see there's a compile error down the bottom here. We need to fix that compile error with three files. In this tutorial, we're going to look from the tutorial, you can actually go down and click on show more and then you can see the information down here. This is where you can download the standard assets if you're getting stuck, but also down here we've got the GitHub and also the link to a file repository. If you want the alternate site, remember to right click and save link as and that will download the zip file for you or you can go to the GitHub location, click on code download a zip file and you'll see it come as a zip file here. Once you've got that, you need to place that into your Unity folder. So drag the zip file and add that to your Unity folder. On my desktop I have a Unity and then I have my project folders and I put the standard asset master in there. Double click that file to unzip and these are the three files that we need to replace in our project. So I'm just going to copy those. Now at the moment, this project, if I click on scene, is located in 3D objects. So I need to head into the project file. If you can't find where your project is, just select any asset, right mouse click and go reveal and finder. This will then open up the asset and show you the directory path. And as you can see, 3D objects, assets. What I need to do is head into standard assets, then I need to head down to Unity and I need to paste those files. So Command V. It'll ask me to replace them. There should be three. One, two, three. So those three files were replaced. When I click back into my Unity, it will start a process of re rendering the project. If we head down to Standard Assets, currently there's still a force request warning, but we'll see if it will still load correctly. Then you can head into Characters first person, prefabs, and then grab the FPS controller and drop that on the stage. I can then lift that up so I'm not so um, buried in the grass. Also, if I want to make myself bigger, I can also do that to make my, Q, my, my FPS controller a little bit bigger. Once I've finished that, I'll be able to hit run. And there you go. I can now move around my project, jump, 
and see the things I've created. I can sprint by holding down the shift key and that's how we add the FPS controller. To get out of the FPS action push the escape key gives you a cursor back which allows you to go to the play and stop the play. So I hope this helped you with the tutorial and getting the FPS controller to run effectively.